Hello, this is Mike with Mike's Walleye Rigs. I wanted to show you how we store our leaders. Uh, I came up with this little device to uh, store your leaders. It's just a standard uh, line spool that you would get your fishing line on. And what we do is we cut cut a little slot in the in the side of the spool, so you end up with a slot like looks like that. And then right at the end of the slot, we cut a we drill a little eighth inch hole. So basically, just take a like a hacksaw and stick it in a sharp angle with the spool, and then just saw down through it. Once you get that slot by halfway cut through it, then I just take an eighth inch drill bit right in the end of the slot and just put a little hole in there. And uh, so you, again, you end up with a slot that kind of you can see. You get a good view of that. So you end up with a slot cut in the spool, a little hole in the middle. Then, then I'll take and cut some notches in the edge of the spool. And this, these notches will be what's used to hold rubber bands and the, the, to keep the line so it doesn't come unraveled. I usually cut like four of them in there, little notches. And there again, I just use a little hacksaw. Or you could take a uh, real sharp knife and cut those in there. So what I do is all my all my leaders are all tied the same way. Um, one one end of my leader will have a small cross lock swivel. Here I'll put it down where you can see that back on the background. This is a little real small cross lock swivel or snap. And then the other end will be a ball bearing swivel, just like that. And I. I Typically, if I'm tying monofilament to something like this, I'll always try to get the ones that have the welded rings on them, not the ones with the split rings. That split ring is just someplace where a line can get down into and get caught and uh, possibly nick your line up. So what we do, these are four foot long leaders and uh, it's 12 pound test fluorocarbon. It's what I use for my uh, crush them when I'm worm harnesses when I'm running either bottom bouncers or inline weights. So what I'll do is I'll take the line and I'll stick it through that little angled slot. I'll put the swivel so it goes right up into that, that little hole. That keeps it in place. Then we'll wrap the opposite way of the angle so it kind of holds it in place. And you wind up wind the leader up on there. And you come to the other end. You get to the end, got it opened up there, and you just take your other your next leader and slip it on there. It's always a good idea to close these back up. If you don't, sometimes they can things will get tangled up. So I closed it back up and then I just keep wrapping. And you just wrap them on there uh, as many as you have. Probably put 30, 40 leaders on that spool. So once you got it, got got them wrapped on there, you just take a rubber band, put it through the last one. Your last one. Put your rubber band on there. And you just run up to the first notch that it'll fit into, and it holds them nice and neat. And when you break off, just unwrap one, and you're back in business. Um, it's always a good idea. I always mark mine. Put a little piece of tape, and I'll put that on the inside of the spool when I'm done. So that's that's how we store our leaders. That's Mike's Walleye Rigs. Mike'sWalleyeRigs.com. Check us out. Thanks.